Hello, I'm Tom Shields, the Operations Director of Pinbrook Software, and I'd like to introduce you to an application we've been working on called AccountsMate for Sage 50. AccountsMate opens up your Sage 50 data through advanced inquiry and remote access without the need for any additional uh, licenses. Users can configure how they view, export, integrate, and analyze this data. So I've just started the AccountsMate um, by just clicking on an icon that was installed on the desktop, and the main screen is presented to you. Uh, at the very top here, you have uh, a toolbar with some um, functions. So for example, we can select a company uh, that we are, want to log into. Down the side, you see the main areas that we can drill into for information. And if we just quickly select the overview screen, this screen will show you the total of all the customers, products and suppliers in the system, and how many of those are active. So you can see there's 30 customers and 30 of them active. And the rest of the screen then will show you the um, debtors that uh, are owed to you and the creditors that you owe. And you can filter that um, by clicking on the aged analysis uh, to see what is owed at a particular point in time. Okay, so let's go into one of the, one of the areas here, customers, um, and we'll look at some of the main functions uh, of accounts mate. The main inquiry screens are the same for each of the areas. Um, so you click on refresh data from the top toolbar and it will pull in all the information from Sage 50. Um, so the main grid here shows you all the records, in this case customers. You can select one of those and it will uh, bring in the additional information. So all the fields are shown from Sage 50. Uh, down here in the property sheet, they're grouped into sections and they can be expanded or collapsed and expanded as you wish. Um, down the bottom, you have an additional grid here for uh, extra information. In this case, it's the communication. So you can see, for example, um, when you had a, a payment promised to you or any other con uh, contacts you have with that, that customer. So now we can uh, uh, start to look to uh, amend this view. So what we'll do is we'll pull away that field there and we'll select the column chooser and we'll add in the analysis code. Um, analysis code one is, uh, in, in, in the demo, is the type of customer. Now you can't pull in the analysis codes into Sage 50 list view, so this is something you can't do in, in Sage 50. Um, once you have the analysis code in, you can sort on any of the, any of the um, columns. We'll sort on analysis code there by ascending, so we see the cash in public first or descending. Um, you could, you can filter on any of the columns, so I'm filtering on the analysis code there, any of the cash, and uh, there's some, on the numeric columns, there's uh, an advanced um, filtering, so greater than 1,000. Again, that's not as easy to do in, uh, uh, as it is in stage 50. Um, you can move the columns around as well. Um, so you can also add totals. Uh, we've got some totals already down here, so if we expand that, uh, we'll see them there. Um, we've got an add sum of the credit limit, which doesn't really make sense there, so we can take that off and add in, let's say, the average. So there's the average credit limit there. Okay. You can also, and, and again, that's not something you can do in Sage 50. Um, you can also group um, the list by a field. We're going to group it here by analysis code. So it shows it. We've got 25 trade, account, trade accounts, four public and one cash, and we can just expand that to see what they are. All right, so I'll just take that back off and go back to a simple, simple list. So once you configure your, your view as how you want to see it, you can save that view um, up here. So um, by 
by clicking on uh, create a new view, give it a name, this one, and save that. And you will be left with um, the, uh, there's a new view there uh, under the layout, and you can, and there's the default view. So uh, you can, we envisage you can use this for any of the areas to uh, save particular views for particular tasks. So, for example, in customers, you might be debt collecting and you want a particular view. On a product, you might want a stock look, look up view. Right. Uh, some other actions you can do from within the grid. Um, if you go to uh, uh, an email field, there's a little icon to the side where you can click and you can send uh, an email directly to that, to that customer. Uh, it opens up your default uh, email uh, client there. Um, click on the balance. And there's an icon there to the, to the left which allows you to drill in and view the transactions that make up that balance. And this is opening up our customer transaction inquiry screen, but it's filtering it by uh, the customer that we just drilled from. Um, so again, the, the inquiry screen, is, it, it, it's very similar. Um, in layout, you have the main grid, which is showing all the transactions. Uh, there's all sales invoice, there's the sales receipts there. Um, uh, you've got a property sheet out the side, which will show some additional inf information, all the transaction uh, fields. And down the bottom, when it refreshes here, you will you'll see additional information, um, which in this case is the customer details that we just come from. But you can switch that and show the invoice uh, data, which uh, this transaction was created from. And that goes down to the, the product lines. So there's the product lines and the quantities that were saved on it. Okay. So that's just quickly showing you the drill through functionality. Um, a couple of other uh, actions here. So at the top, you can export the data into any of the most common formats. So PDF, CSV, Word, let's choose Excel. And that will open up the application, Excel, and drop in the, the main grids data there. Um, we've got the, uh, we've got a preview, and this allows you to create a, a little document out of the data that you're viewing. Um, so this could be used if you want to bring it to a, a, an external meeting or a board meeting or something like that, so you can tidy up the, and present the data. So. For example, we can um, choose what orientation, we'll change it to portrait, we'll scale it to fit uh, one page wide, and we'll have a little header uh, tied to a customer. And we will uh, make that bigger and bold. And then on the footer, we'll add some page information number of other pages. Okay, so we've got the title and the page information down the bottom. You can add in dates and timestamps and user stamps, etc. And um, once you're happy with that, you can save the, the, the document, you can print it out, and um, you can uh, uh, email it or export it to various uh, output uh, formats as well. Um, you can do things like adding in uh, images and watermarks and stuff like that to make that, make that uh, even better. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, one of the advanced features of Councilmate, which is the data analysis. Um, we've got two areas, um, sales and purchases. And this is showing you summarized information um, from the transactions, in this case, the sales, sales transactions. Um, it's up the top is a similar toolbar, um, and you refresh the data, I've pulled it in already, and I've selected a time frame because we're dealing with transactions, so it's advisable to do that. This particular layout, customer sales, is showing you, as it says, 
the sale value uh, by customer um, year on year. Um, the top uh, toolbar has uh, similar uh, functions that we've seen, like export and preview as before, but it has a nice new uh, additional uh, uh, function here, which is allows us to chart that data. Okay, so customers value uh, across the year. All right. Um, you can. Uh, this this particular view has been built to allow us to drill into this information. So um, we can take a, we can expand the customer here, expand it all, and it shows the customer now by product sales across the across year year on year, the grand total. We can then also we can expand the columns to show us. So expand that. That breaks it down into uh, months. So it's customer per product uh, by yearly, uh, yearly monthly sales. Um, we can add additional information if we want to as well. So up from up the top, the fields up the top that we have available to us, we can pull in the quantity. So now it's showing the quantity and the value per month. And for example, we can pull in the, the profit. So we're now showing the profit as well. You've got other fields there, cost, price, etc. Um, you you can expand on the, uh, the, the, the the type of data to show it maybe by quarter or by week if you wish as well. So that's just the data analysis feature, and it's the same for purchases as well. So that's uh, our overview of our accounts, mate. I hope you found it useful and can see where um, maybe it'll allow you to get more use of the Sage 50 um, information or indeed expose, expose it to uh, some of your users that maybe currently aren't using Sage 50. Um, we're making this available to trial to uh, any of our Sage 50 supported clients free of charge. Uh, any non-clients, uh, please contact us to discuss your interest in this and our contact details uh, can be seen below. Thank you very much.